Hi, welcome back to Go Together Go Far. On today's video, we're going to take a look at my Salem 30 KQBSS travel trailer. This is their big bunkhouse model, and it's fantastic. You're going to want to stick around. The bunkhouse with this thing is you're going to want to see that. I'm going to show you the outside kitchen, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things we really enjoy about this particular camper is the outside kitchen. Come over and take a look at it. So now Andy, you have a full working sink and drain. I've got a long drawer for grill ut utensils. Two massive cabinets up top for all of our storage. And even an outside refrigerator. This thing, we do most of our cooking out here and this has made it well worth it. And I'll take a quick view from the top. You see it even has its own overhang so when it's raining like it is today you don't have to get wet. Let's go take a look inside. So let's take a look at the master bedroom. So in this bedroom we have uh, a Camp Queen mattress. We even put a foam topper on it. That's brand new actually. Uh, we have two mirrored closets. One on my side, one on hers and I'll open this up for you. And we've also added like tap lights and stuff in here to give us a little more light. Um, in addition to both of those closets, you have two more storage closets on this side. So there is a ton of storage in this camper. And you notice that we have a, a TV mount already installed. I just don't have a TV in, in here. And this type of bed lifts up. Pop that one up for you and can stay so you can get to storage underneath if you need it. And boom. And you can walk all the way around on this one. So there's a lot of room in here. Uh, there's a laundry chute. Um, this is a great, you know, main master bedroom. Okay, let's take a look at the entertainment stand. You notice down there at the bottom, right by the front door, we've got a shoe cubby, which is great. Keep stuff out of the way. Uh, in the drawers, I've got really just kind of a couple junk storage containers that have various items in it um, first aid kit and a handful of other odds and ends look on up to the entertainment stand and you've got dvd player cd player and i just put a 43 inch tv in i'll actually link to a video to that if you want to watch me install that and then as you pan across to the couch so you've got a nice couch with storage underneath and let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen. So here's the wide shot of the kitchen. Uh, and you're going to notice a couple things. First of all, that big silver thing there is an ice maker that we use for when we're traveling. It's great for making drinks. I've got to have a video on that out shortly. Um, you'll notice kind of a round storage cabinet here. And I'll open that in a second, as well as shelves and, and under cabinet space. Uh, we have two big storage uh, shelves up top. And let's go take a look inside. So in this round one, this one's a bit unique. It opens way up. You can see a good view of that. It's very different than anything I've seen in another camper. It gives you a lot of access. We happen to keep like mosquito repellent and you know citronella candles in there. In this one, you've got crock pot, coffee maker, uh, and then in here you've got utensils, uh, cooking supplies and towels. In the upper cabinets, open these up. So here's where we keep most of our uh, plates and cups and all that kind of stuff it stays up here. Moving over, microwave, three burner cooktop, which has been fantastic. And we even have an oven in this one. And then of course we have the fridge, which is great. Um, and then up above here, we actually have some more storage that we store a hodgepodge of different, different things. So there's a ton of storage in this camper. Okay, let's take a look at the U dinette. The U dinette on this Salem is huge. Not only does this thing fold down into a full size bed, it's got a full drawer of storage underneath, and then the, this piece flips up and you can store underneath that. It's fantastic. It's easy to get four or five people around this thing. Hey, if this helps you out, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Thanks. Now the pantry, which is empty at the moment, but we usually keep 
food and stuff up top, dry goods down below, and then we use this bottom one as a linen closet. Make that a little easier to see. There you go. Let's take a look at the bathroom. So the bathroom is a good sized bathroom, plenty of room for bathroom stuff. Uh, I keep my hoses in here and we have a nice skylight, uh, a medicine cabinet, which actually has a pretty good amount of room in it as well. And then more storage over here. Let's go check out that bunkhouse I promised. So this bunkhouse is the whole reason why we bought this camper. We love this layout. I'll open the sliding door here. And first thing you can notice is that it's got two beds up top. We, of course, put a little little gates there to make sure that our kids don't roll out of bed. Um, but so I've got one for him, one for her. And then down below, they actually have their own eating area. And they can sit back here in rainy weather and play games and, and that kind of stuff and have their own space, which I think they really, really enjoy. The ladder is built in so that we don't have to transport anything different for that. And then, of course, up underneath both of these, you've got storage as well as my circuit panel. So there it is. There's a tour of this Salem 30 KQ BSS. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these bunk houses, they're great. Uh, if you haven't, if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do click that little red icon down below and check out some of my other videos. I think you'll enjoy them. See you, everybody.